guys and welcome back to a brand new video. Today we're going to be watching the Mandela Catalog. So I'm going to break this into two videos. First one is this one. We're going to watch it for 20 minutes. The second one's also going to, I mean, uh, three videos technically. The second one's also going to be 20 minutes, the rest of it. Then the third one is going to be those mixed together. So if you don't want to watch so that you can just do that. Okay, well, we'll let's get started with the video. By the, way, the this, the earth. Th by the way, this is the Mandela Catalog of Volume 4, the final one. Okay, sorry, I didn't even do that. Okay, let's get right into it. Earth was created without form, as a spirit hovered over the face of the waters. Light was created first. Sorry for that. Then the light was divided by darkness. Okay. The light would be called day, and the darkness would be called night. Makes sense. On the second day, the spirit created the skies above and the water below. Okay. A great firmament was created to divide the waters. But even into the morning was the second day. The water below was separated from dry land, where a diverse arrangement of plants were grown. The mass of okay. water would be called the sea. The land would be called earth. A grand array of stars and planets filled the watch this. sea. The land would be called What's going Earth. On? What's going on over there? A grand array of stars and planets filled the emptiness of the night sky. Nice. The sun and moon were created to give life to day and night. Okay. Several creatures were created to inhabit the sea, sky, and land. Makes the creatures sense. would multiply, and soon the earth was filled with these creatures. On the sixth day, a man was created from the dust of the ground, followed by a woman to keep him company. Okay. They loved each other very much, and happiness was Adam felt for the first time. I'm guessing. They would gaze up at the stars that night before falling into a deep, Graceful slumber. I can't read cursive. I only could read the middle word. I can only read one. I could only read one word. It said my. It's the only word I could actually read. It's like I can't read cursive. Who is that? That's the person at the other tree that I saw just a minute ago. I'm showing the tree is so glitchy. This night was different than the last. The woman would gaze up at the sky, but the brilliance and beauty of the stars were obscured by the man staring down at her. The woman was afraid. Not only has this old technology been easier to use, for me and my family feel a lot safer with it now. This is Dave from Mandela Tech. How may I help you? Hey Dave, it's O'Brien. Oh, how's it going man? It's been a while. No, well, you know. Same old, same old. Yeah, I feel you. How'd that church kid go? Oh, it was great. Got the whole congregation out of their seats during the last performance. It felt empowering, you know? According to the other band members, that's never happened before. It made me feel real special. That's great, dude. Happy to hear it. Yeah, man. Enough about me, though. How have you been holding up? I don't know. Uh, you know how it is. I'm sure you've seen the news. Local businesses haven't really been doing so hot recently. Ah, that's rough, man. I, I'm sorry to hear that. I don't know. That's alright. I'll find a way around it sooner or later, right? Tell you what. If you end up having to shut down, I can vouch for you to get a position here. They'll pay you much better than whatever the hell you're making down there. I'm not a man of God, O'Brien. Hey, no worries. You don't need to be a believer. You can always let me know if you change your mind. Well, I, I gotta get running. Got rehearsal at eight. I'll talk to you soon, alright? Ooh, she took the tape that was for Dave. Mm -hmm. 
scary. You think I'm gonna see, just gonna see also like white eye. I want to see something white. Even use his thing. because actual people film them. Because you know. hey, you're looking at the ceiling. <laughs> every Wednesday at 6 p.m. at the St. John Library. Thanks for listening, and don't forget to bring your paintbrushes. Thank you very much, Lola. Our next student comes from our very own Bythorn High. Please welcome Sarah. Hello. I am Sarah Heathcliff, founder of the Paranormal Club at Bythorn High School. I look to do some private investigations and help some people out from the <laughs> surrounding areas. I'm currently looking for a work partner to pursue this line of work with. Don't worry about having any experience or anything. I'm also a beginner. You can contact me with the email shown on screen now. I look forward to hearing back from someone. Thanks for listening. Don't think that's a real email. Currently at large. Oh. Hey, Sarah. I saw your video. I'd like to join you with your investigation stuff, since I think that sounds pretty cool. I go to Workshaw High School, but I hope that's not too much of an issue. Also, I grew up in Mandela, so I have some ideas of places that we can explore. Up to you, though. Hope to hear back from you. Give me the something bigger of experience. Adam Murphy, also at large. Special Nashville, everyone, please welcome out um, the newest. Uh, Hello, everybody. Me and my friend Adam are excited to announce that we have recently founded the Bythorn Paranormal Society. Yup, you heard that right. We are now expanding its surrounding areas. And we don't mind traveling a little bit if we need to. There is nothing that will scare us away. Just give us a call. Breaking and entering. Event one. Ooh, no. This will be fine. I promise. Imagine Life the reaction from this. This will be great. And I know the perfect spot. No way this place was abandoned, Adam. Shh. Okay. Ready to get your mind blown? Uh. Look down that hallway, Sarah. Look at it. Push her. And don't look away. He is so gonna okay. push her. Well set. Now press play. What the fuck is this? Shh, shh, shh. Just watch. No, please. Look, Sarah, look at it. What are you doing? No, Adam, please. It's right there, Sarah, look. Adam, I think you're going crazy. There's nothing there. I'm getting chill. What's going on? Don't you want to see? I can't look, please. It's literally looking at us, Sarah. Adam, stop it, please. 
go to sleep. But I got no worries. Shields. We got it on video. You can look at it whenever you're ready. You got a crazy good shot, Sarah. No. I'm not doing that ever again. Oh, 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 you you're kidding. I just need time, all right? Give her time, Adam. If you're gonna keep doing these with someone, then you need someone else. I'll do everything else, I guess. So that's how you met the other guy. The call has been forwarded to an automatic voice message system. At the tone, please record your message. When you have finished recording, you may hang up or press 1 for more options. Hey Sarah, it's Adam. I'm on the way back. We got some pretty good material that I think you'll be pretty psyched about. So, uh, yeah, see you soon. I don't blame him for not liking him. She's removing Jonah. But he was this other work partner. It must have been like after he died or something. This is weird. It's because he has Amanda, Tyler, Noah, Sarah, and Eve. Pretty sure he's the one who died, actually. I gotta grab something. Uh, you guys don't want to. I can't show you guys what I get copyrighted for. It's a type of soda, I'll tell you that much. But I'm thirsty and I want to drink it. Wait, no, wouldn't I get copyrighted for not showing their brand? Why would they copyright me for showing their brand? Because I'm, I'm afraid to show... I'm afraid to show it because it has an R above it, so I'm afraid if I show it, I'll get copyrighted. So, okay, I'm just not gonna. <laughs> they don't Adam? know which one it is. Eventually, someone will stumble across that. You just drove off? Didn't really think it would be that big of a deal. What? Put yourself in my shoes for a second. I just got done walking for miles in the cold, alright? Would you expect me not to take the car? What the hell has gotten into you? Adam. Got some killer footage, though. I don't give a shit about the footage until you sort Whoa. yourself out. Crazy how I feel more sympathy towards someone I hardly knew than you. He was your best friend. No, he wasn't my best friend. I was his best friend. I don't have friends. We have to tell our viewers, you know. We? I think you mean you. You're the one that handles the online. Stuff. No, you. This is all your fault, Adam. We didn't need this footage. I don't care how good it is. Why don't you make a memorial video for the only person that ever cared about you? Oh. The viewers will start suspecting things sooner or later. I thought you were better than that. Dang, Sarah. I almost just unplugged my mic. So I should what it was. That's 20 minutes. I gotta end this video and start the new one. Cause I have to film two videos today and I have family. 17 years and counting. And I have 
family coming over, so. The fear dwelling in the bottom of my stomach eats away at me like a cancer. Dang, okay. The bellowing of broken parents. The cries of sisters asking where their brothers went. All drowned out by the humming of fluorescent lights. This, yeah. Missing person support stacked on top of each other like a mountain of grief. Kind of unsettling. Me thinks if I lit a match and tossed it, their souls would find their final resting place. Weaver, my guardian angel, in a sense. I threw her to the flames in an act of self preservation. It's funny, you can see it like flashing on my face. Her photo plastered in the lobby. Almost like a reminder of what I did. At the same time, I feel anger. I feel vengeful. I feel pain. I'll make you proud, Ruth. But the darkness followed me home, Weaver. I left. I couldn't cut it. I shut myself in. Something else was there with me. If nobody's there to call you crazy, would you ever find out? Whoa. Okay, so he's going to bed. Is he gonna die in bed? Oh. Yeah, he's gonna die in bed. Nox, as soon as I see that, I'm either jumping either jumping out the nearest window, grabbing a heavy object, and throwing it at that thing. Nox is gonna sit there and stare at it. Gonna grab like a heavy object and throw it. Or jump out the nearest window, or just go running, screaming. This in this indicating there's a person in your closet. He's gonna have to take my word for it. You're firing me? No, 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 no. I'm not firing you. Uh, you remember our last good day? Yeah, me either. Dave, please. Is there anything else I can do? I, I'll gladly do longer shifts. You don't even have to pay me anything extra. This is all I have. Please? Look, I have a good friend that used to work at the police station. I'll put in a good word for you, alright? I appreciate your loyalty so much, Evelyn. It's been a good oh. run. This is weird. Right. Dave, wait. What's with the closet? The old TV? Why do you stop- Now he knows, or something, I don't know. Hey, O'Brien. I think it's about time that I take you up on your offer. Ooh, he's taking him up on his offer. Sorry. We just started a new chapter. What new chapter is that? Remembrance. This is Lieutenant Patrick Davis. Seems like I made a mistake. Everything's clear here at the station. Calling off all units. Over. What in the world is that? What in the world is that? Afraid of your own reflection, Lieutenant. Dead or alive. A man without a purpose, in a world that doesn't need him. A scared boy with a gun. Sound familiar? 
if you can hear between your left, your right and left ear, you probably just had a heart attack. Because he was going from side to side in my right ear. Dear my right Griff, ear. My left ear. My right ear. I know you can't read this letter, so. That was important. I guess this is more for my peace of mind. Me. My God. I miss you a lot, man. <laughs> I got chicken. I like to think that you're watching me somehow. Making fun of me while I write you this fucking letter. But I'm always greeted by that same invasive silence. I keep driving by the house like uh, I'm gonna get over it somehow, you know? But it hasn't gotten easier. There's a lot of movies and music that you missed. I wish I could show it to you just one more time. Oh, Cause the reality ooh. is, Ruth, I don't think I'm gonna find another friend like you again. Oh, shoot. <laughs> and every day it hurts. It's so bad. Lieutenant, the lieutenant is Dave. <laughs> and now you're dead because I was too fucking scared. I was too fucking Sergeant scared. Sergeant is this guy's friend. So okay, well, it's past the time. I have to film another video after this. So, I will see you all in the next one. Love y'all and peace 